in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. This Mass is going to be offered for James Carson. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May your Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to the people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. For you are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who were pleased to call your holy church the bride, grant that the people uh, that serve your holy name may serve you, love you, and follow you, and may be led by you to attain your promises in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who leads and reigns to you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The angel brought me back to the entrance of the temple, and I saw water flowing out from beneath the threshold of the temple toward the east, for the facade of the temple was toward the east. The water flowed down from the southern side of the temple, south of the altar. He led me outside by the north gate, and around the outer gate facing the east, where I saw water trickling from the southern side. He said to me, this water flows from the eastern district down upon the Arabah and empties into the sea, the salt waters, which makes it fresh. Wherever the river flows, every sort of living creature that can multiply shall live and there shall be abundant fish, for wherever this water comes, the sea shall be made fresh. Along both banks of the river, fruit trees of every kind shall grow. Their leaves shall not fade, nor their fruit fail. Every month they shall bear fresh fruit, and they shall be watered by the flow from the sanctuary. Their fruit shall serve for food, and their leaves for medicine. The word of the Lord. The waters of the river, gladness city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. The waters of the river, gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. God is our refuge and our strength, an ever-present help in distress. Therefore we fear not, though the earth be shaken and mountains plunge into the depths of the sea. The waters of the river gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. There is a stream whose runlets gladden the city of God, 
the holy dwelling of the Most High. God is in its midst. It shall not be disturbed. God will help it at the break of dawn. The waters of the river gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is God of Jacob. Come, behold the deeds of the Lord, the astounding things he has wrought on earth. The waters of the river gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, you are God's building. According to the grace of God given to me, like a wise master builder, I laid a foundation, and another is building upon it. But each one must be careful how he builds upon it, for no one can lay a foundation other than the one that is there namely, Jesus Christ. Do you not know that you are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwells in you? If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy that person. For the temple of God, which you are, is holy. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. I have chosen and consecrated this house, says the Lord that my name may be there forever. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Since the Passover of the Jews was near, Jesus went up to Jerusalem. He found in their temple area those who sold oxen, sheep, and doves, as well as the money changers seated there. He made a whip out of cords and drove them all out of the temple area with the sheep and the oxen and spilled the coins of the money changers and overturned their tables. And to those who sold doves, he said, take these out of here and stop making my father's house a marketplace. His disciples recalled the words of scripture Zeal for your house will consume me. At this the Jews answered and said to him, What sign can you show us for doing this? Jesus answered and said to them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. The Jews said, This temple has been under construction for 46 years, and you will raise it up in three days? But he was speaking about the temple of his body. Therefore, when he was raised from the dead, his disciples remember that he had said this, and they came to believe the scripture and the word Jesus had spoken. 
The Gospel of the Lord. Today, as we celebrate this Mass, and as we celebrate it for the dedication of the Basilica, uh, the Lateran Basilica, we meditate that the basilicas, basilicas are symbols. Basilicas are symbols of the living Christ. As the Cathedral Church of Pot in Rome, the Lateran Basilica is a symbol of the living church on earth. And it connects the faithful in our world and mission of forming disciples. It is a sacred building, uh, the dwelling place of God. And we see that in the first reading, the first reading, uh, an angel shows Ezekiel water flows from all sides of the temple and tells him that in the source of life and the grove, uh, the bear and felling fruit. And St. Paul, St. Paul asked the Corinthians, do you think or do you know that you are the temple of God and that the spirit of God dwells in you? In the gospel, in the gospel, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, overturns the tables of the money changers uh, in the temple and tells them the crowd, destroy this temple and in three days I will raise it up. Please stand and let us present together these our petitions. For Pope Francis, Bishop of Rome, may the Holy Spirit strengthen his ministry among us, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our civic leaders, may God grant them fortitude and wisdom, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those whose lives have been uprooted because of violence, trauma, or hatred, May God grant them comfort and consolation, we pray. For all gathered here and for all of those with us virtually, may God's grace help us to hate what is evil and hold fast to what is good, we pray. For those who have died, especially James Carson, for whom this Mass is offered, may they find a dwelling place among the angels this day, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask you to listen these petitions according to your holy will. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, 
for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you for all the earth work of human hands the body come for us the bread of life blessed are you lord god of all creation for through your goodness we have received this one we offer you for the divine work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. So the sacrifice of your hands, for the and glory of his name, but I'll get him now, this holy church. Accept, we pray, O Lord, the offerings may hear and grant that by it those who, those who seek your favor may receive in this place the power of the Holy Sacrament and the answer of your prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in your, in your benevolence, you are pleased to dwell in the house of the prayer and in order to perfect, to perfect us as a temple of the Holy Spirit, support uh, the perpetual help of your grace and, res and resplendent of your glory as a life acceptable to you. Year by year, you sanctify the church, the bride of Christ, foreshadowed in the visible building, so that rejoicing as the mother of our countless children, she may be given her place in your heavenly glory. And so, with the angels and archangels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son and the Highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we may humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church, be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your seven Francis, our Pope, Gregory John, our Archbishop, and all those who hold into the truth, hang on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants, and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For then we offer you this sacrifice of prayers, or they offer for themselves and all who are dear to them, uh, for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever Virgin Mary, Mother of our God, Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysagon, and John and Paul, Cosmas and Damien, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers in all things may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray 
graciously accept this oblation of our service. Dara Yoho family, order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counting among the flag of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands and with the eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of our sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants, and your holy people, offer your, to your glorious majesty uh, from the gift that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this is Father's victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a sincere and kindly countenance, and to accept them, as once you were pleased to accept the gift of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, uh, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants, who though uh, who have gone before us with the sign of faith and raised in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in the fellowship of your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and with all the saints, admitted as we beseech you into their company, now waiting our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom you, you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them and bestow them upon us. Through heaven, both the men in hand, O God Almighty Father, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and our rejoice forever and ever. Amen. And now let us pray as the Lord Jesus Christ taught us, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. The Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, let us offer one another a sign of Christ's peace. Are you steady with all his peccatamony? Miserere nobis. Are you steady with all his peccatamony? Miserere Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am unworthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word, my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who chose to foreshadow in us to the heavenly Jerusalem through the sign of your church on earth, grant, we pray, that our partaking of this holy sacrament, uh, we may be made the temple of your grace. 
and may enter a dwelling place on your holy church through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. And go in peace, glorifying the Lord with your lives. Thank you to God.